So crustacea is an arthropod subphylum which comprises of crustaceans. So remipedia, which means all footed, is a class of blind crustaceans comprising of remipedes. So as well as being blind, remipedes also lack pigment. So this is because remipedes live in submerged dark caves and so like ohms, have no need for eyes or pigment. So ohms still have underdeveloped eyes, whereas most remipedes don't have eyes. So remipedes grow to about 1 to 4 centimetres long and have two pairs of antennae. So all crustaceans have two pairs of antennae, whereas centipedes and millipedes, which belong to a different subphylum called myriapoda, have one pair of antennae. So despite remipedes being more related to crabs and barnacles, which are also crustaceans than they are to millipedes and centipedes, remipedes are actually more closely related to hexapods, which are members of the subphylum hexapoda, which includes insects and springtails, than they are related to crabs and barnacles. So this is because the subphylum crustacea is paraphyletic. So this means that hexapods are thought to have descended from crustaceans, but hexapods them are not themselves classified as crustaceans. So unlike a clade, crustacea does not include all the descendants of a common ancestor, but all crustaceans still descended from a common ancestor. So crustaceans and hexapods make up the clade pancrustacea. So remipedes are thought to be very closely related to hexapods, so most hexapods, like insects, however, only have one pair of antennae, and so likely lost their other pair of antennae. But one order of hexapods have no antennae at all, though. So remipedes swim on their backs and are generally slow-moving. So remipedes are made of a head and up to 32 similar body segments, with legs on each. So remipedes are also the only known venomous crustaceans, so remipedes also live in subtropical regions, and remipedes have been around since at least the Carboniferous. So over 20 species of remipedes have been discovered so far. Thank you.